Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. Happy news for Christian Petraka. Yep. Track. Remember he got he, he got angry when he was referred to as Christian Petraka? <laughs> Petraka, <laughs> isn't it? Petraka. He came in here once. Nice lad. Very nice lad. The bull. He has uh, announced his engagement to his girlfriend, Bella Beicher. Is that mm. right? Bella Beicher, Petraka and Bella Beicher are currently in Lake Como, Italy, where they pop the question. These um these football players are getting very fancy, aren't they? Mm. With their proposals and their... Yeah, like with their lives. I've never been to Italy. I've never been to Lake Como. No, no. That's the playground of George Clooney, and yet Kristen Petraka is there with his girlfriend. Oh, good. Well, fancy. he's a Melbourne when legend, did, Norm Smith medalist. When did AFL get so fancy, Yeah, Brownie? it is fancy. A lot of fancy. It wouldn't have happened back in my day, Swanee. And, like, fancy threads mm. and dresses and expensive when everything. When it was time for me to bend a the knee, mm. I was just over in WA, Swanee. No, you were somewhere fancy. You were in a little quiet cove in Margaret River. But back but in the Bunker 90s. Bay, it was good. Yeah. Back in the 90s, though, just at Frankston Beach yeah. with, a, with a ring pull for yes. a ring. Yes, with will, a chisel. Will you marry me, doll? That yeah. kind of stuff. Adam yeah. Cooney did it with a burger ring. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's the sort of proposal I can I get like behind. That. Nova. Chrissy Swan. Sam Pang. And Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity stuff. Sam, it's good news for you because I know that you love a Channel 10 reality series. <laughs> this face. Channel 10 have released a first look. You'd be good on the mask singer, you would be. What? You'd be good on the mask singer. No, the that, mask that, that, dinger that, for Pang. Oh, yes, the mask pinger. Um, Channel 10 have released a first look at the new series, The Challenge. It's coming to 10 this November. 22 of Australia's biggest names. <laughs> That is a big claim. I wouldn't have said that if I was writing the press release. You know, I'm excited about this show. Make names. no mistake. Do you know some of the names? Yep. The great Kieran Stott. What? Kieran Stott. Who's that, Brenny? I thought it was Kieran Spawn. Or wrestling player. Cyrell. Ooh, couldn't get him. The great Cyrell. Well, who's that? No, oh, Cyrell's on maths. Yes. Oh. Grant Crap. Oh, well, hold crap. on. So these Love two- Island fame. Aren't those two shows Channel 9 shows? Those two are from Channel 9. Doesn't matter. It's an equal opportunity employer, 10 Paramount+. Plus. All of these entertainment, sports and reality worlds, worlds will descend on Buenos Aires, Argentina in the most unpredictable and demanding game of their lives. It's going to be so good. With a whopping $200,000 cash prize and a ticket entry into the first ever The Challenge Global Championship. Only one female and one male competitor will have the perfect combination of physical, mental and social skills to reign supreme. It's Survivor, but reality stars. Wow. Celebrity mm. Survivor. It looks amazing. Well, big names. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. We were just talking about uh, Robbie Coltrane, uh, who played Hagrid in the Harry Potter films, who passed away on the weekend, and you hadn't heard that, Dino. Yeah, it sucks. It, it does suck. He seemed like a really lovely man, and Hagrid's such a beloved character. Tributes have poured in from the cast, especially the actors who met him as children, including Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Tom Felton, and more. Anybody that is nice to kids on set is a good man to me, I reckon. He played Rubius Hagrid. Is that how you pronounce it? Absolutely. Sure is. Rubius. With that rolling R. Anyway, he passed away in hospital, according to a statement from his agent. I'm going to try and find out where I can watch Cracker, because he was fabulous in that too. Right. A uh, a salty old cop. What's this uh, audio here? Is this... Why is Tom Castellano in the studio? Not sure. He's filling for Jackie. What are you doing? He wasn't invited by me. No. (laughs) (laughs) Insurance. Why are you here? Um, who knows? I don't know. (laughs) You just want to be. Yeah. Say something. How Uh, are you? I'm great. I'm great. It was great to see you on Friday night at Polly Goodchild's party. It was was so fun at her party. I know. I'm not kidding you. You're having an off-air conversation. You two. You want to have something. You want to have something right now. (laughs) Tom and I. Tom and I sat up on high stools at a, a little cocktail table, like. Like two leaders. Down, everyone. Mm. Anyway, it's um, from the uh, 20th anniversary that they did uh, at the start of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, the return to Hogwarts, mm-hmm. and he spoke um, quite nicely about the experience of being 
um, a part of Harry Potter. The legacy of the movies is that my children's generation will show them to their children. So you could be watching it in 50 years' time. Easy. I'll not be here, sadly. But, <laughs> but Hagrid will. Oh, that good voice. Voice. That's a good voice, voice, Brian. Yeah, a lot of scotch and gaspers to get to there. <laughs> Show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Oh, unless it's a weekend. Over 100.